Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Paris. And I'm Heidi Laga. Witness testimony began today in the murder trial of Santa Cruz County rancher George Allen Kelly. Now he's charged with shooting and killing an undocumented border crosser passing through his ranch. Now, KGO 9's Craig Smith joins us sharing how Kelly's defense attorneys seem to be working to convince jurors someone other than Kelly may have killed the victim. For a defense attorney, raising reasonable doubt is the key to getting your client acquitted. In the murder trial of rancher George Allen Kelly, Kelly's lawyers have already suggested maybe someone shot the victim before Kelly even picked up his gun. Kelly is charged with firing at least nine shots from an AK-47 assault rifle in the direction of Gabrielle Quen Buetamea and another man as they move south across Kelly's ranch towards Mexico. Prosecutors say one of those shots killed a man who was not moving towards Kelly and presented no threat. First witnesses in Kelly's trial were from law enforcement, testifying about investigative techniques like using drones for aerial photography and laser devices to create 3D recordings of the scene. Kelly's defense attorneys say Kelly heard a gunshot before he brought out his rifle and fired over the heads of the men who were more than a football field away. In opening statements, so, Kelly's lawyers so offered the idea that someone else fired the fatal shot before struck. Kelly did anything. Because the fatal shot this went through the man and kept going, automatic. the bullet was never recovered, so it was never tested for a match to Kelly's gun. Defense attorney Kathy Lothorpe questioned Santa Cruz County Deputy Pedro Felix. Felix was the second deputy assigned to watch the body until it could be removed. It was his job to make sure no one disturbed evidence. Lothorpe asked about the odd condition of a backpack the victim had. There is a, a backpack sitting over this gentleman's head. Is that correct? Right. Did you notice that the backpack was unzipped? No. You deputy Felix said he could not be sure whether investigators at the scene before him had opened the backpack for inspection. Kelly's lawyers have made a point of mentioning the victim was carrying a two-way radio of the sort smugglers often use. Prosecutors have told jurors Kelly sent aggressive texts about taking action against smugglers crossing his land, and that he made evasive statements and waited many hours to tell investigators he had fired his gun. Craig Smith, KGUN 9.